Hello friends! I didn't know what to title this because I just figured I would pop on and just say whatever comes into my head. <laughs> so this is the first day in probably, I don't even know how long, almost two weeks that I've like gotten dressed and put makeup on. Not gotten dressed, like obviously I've gotten dressed and done shit, but like gotten myself together. Um, I think that something that's kind of popping to my head is I am about to or have been like shedding some final layers of some things that have been going on or like that have been healing processes for a long time. And I think that's something, first of all, look, I took out my hair extensions for right now. We're just going to rock this. I'll get them put back in soon, but I just, the pressure of it, like I just couldn't. Anyway. So I think that what we, what happens is, is we start to shed, we shed, oh boy, that was a lie out, huh? That's a drink hydration reminder from Google Chrome. So take a drink of your water wherever you are. I left mine upstairs. I have to go get it. I just did a podcast interview. Um, so I just had my coffee. But anyway, I think that we failed to realize that you know growth is a never ending thing layers of stuff is never ending and so when we can start to look at that as a good thing and as a piece of the puzzle that we get to experience then i think the whole game can change honestly so one of the deals or one of the deals for me has been allowing myself to be quite the vessel and what I mean by that is is that there's reasons like I obviously have free will and I make my own choices and things like that but there are reasons that I've put in situations there's reasons that people are put in front of me there are reasons that I go through things and I know that and, and it's bigger than me um I started to write something about it yesterday but it's it's bigger than something that I have control over and I do believe that so when when these layers start to like to slush off or however you want to call it then it's you kind of have to just let it let it do its thing and what I mean by that is you have to let yourself shed that stuff off and experience it even if it's frustrating or shitty or whatever um, and when I when that happens I think it's important that you just keep your eyes open really wide while this shit is happening you keep your eyes open really wide and you look around and you figure out um, what you need to learn from everything that you're experiencing, what you need to learn about what's going on and, and, and all of those things. And so I think, um, I don't know how I'm going to start doing it. It might be through like TikTok because that'll require me to do like three minute videos, but then I'll put, I can pop them on here as reels. But that's like something that I feel like would be helpful for me to share for my own healing process. And that's a lot of what I go through with my body. It's like a day to day, you know, I've told you guys about it some, but it's just something that for so many years, I was told that the, there was nothing wrong with me, even though they're like, obviously it is, um, that I would just hide it and that it made me weak or it made me less than. Um, and even though I'm my mindset is better about it now than it ever was before, it's still a thing, right? And so I think that's something that um, could be therapeutic. I remember when I was working on creating the comfortability of showing up here and talking to you guys, you know, it's something I get a question, I get asked a lot, like, how are you so comfortable just jumping on live streams and talking and doing things like that? And it's like, well, I'm comfortable doing that because I practiced, right? Um, I got online every single day and spoke on video on Snapchat stories when this was like five years ago, six years ago. I made a commitment to do that and show everything like of my life and stuff. And it made me so, because they disappeared in 24 hours, right? And so it was easier for me to do that and just move on and just move forward and just get really comfortable. And so it helped me heal though. It helped me heal this side of me that made me think I was bad at video or like I had nothing to say or no one wanted to hear what I was saying. And as a result, you know, if you do anything every day for a year, there's going to be a, a, you know, cause and effect from that. You're going to hopefully, you know, there'll be benefits if, unless you don't, you do something bad. Right. But, um, so unless you're doing something bad every day for a year, then you're going to have effects too, but maybe not positive ones. Um, so with that being said, it's just 
I was just sharing just random thoughts, but I think that what we can recognize is it doesn't really matter what thing you commit to. It's committing to something consistently and doing it consistently. It's in the promise that we make to ourselves when we say we're going to do something and then we do it. And then we say we're going to do it and we do it again and we do it again and we do it again. Like there's so much power in that. And I don't think we realize how much we screw ourselves over. Oh my goodness. I really just wanted some chapstick and then I just ended up making all kinds of noise. But how much power we give away and how much we screw ourselves over by not having, by not following through on the promises that we make to ourselves. Like if you would never break your promise to your children or to your mom or your spouse, like why do you always break your promises to yourself? So it's in making small, simple pro promises or saying you're going to do small, simple things and following through that the magic lies on how you can transform your own life and how you can heal and how you can move forward and create more and more whatever the thing is that you're wanting to do. So take that, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Walk away with that, let it simmer, see what comes out of it. But I hope you guys all have a beautiful rest of your day. I'm super grateful for just having a great conversation with someone who is interviewing me for a podcast. When it comes out, I'll let you guys know. Um, it's the Masks Off podcast. If you want to look it up, it's pretty good. Um, the podcast alone is really good. And of course, I think the episode with me is good too. <laughs> but I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for Tony sitting with Mac today so I can be in my office. Um, I haven't left my bedroom <laughs> very much for four days since Mac's been home. So um, that's the other piece. Gratitude matters, friends. Gratitude matters. See y'all later.